in this video i am going to tell you what is the history of radio who invented radio and how is it invented so let's start my dear is the early history of radio is the history of technology that produces and uses radio instruments that use radio waves within the timeline of radio many people contributed theory and inventions in what became radio radio development began as wireless telegraphy later radio history increasingly involves matters of broadcasting my dear is the idea of wireless communication predates the discovery of radio with experiments in wireless telegraphy via inductive and capacitive induction and transmission through the ground water and even train tracks from the 1830s on James Clerk Maxwell showed in theoretical and mathematical form in 1864 that electromagnetic waves could propagate through free space. It's likely that the first intentional transmission of a signal by means of electromagnetic waves was performed in an experiment by David Edward Hughes around 1880, although this was considered to be induction at the time. In 1888, Heinrich Rudolf Hertz was able to conclusively prove transmitted airborne electromagnetic waves in an experiment confirming Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism. My dears, after the discovery of these Hertzian waves, it would take almost 20 years for the term radio to be universally adopted for this type of electromagnetic radiation. Many scientists and inventors experimented with transmitting and detecting Hertzian waves. Maxwell's theory showing that light and Hertzian electromagnetic waves were the same phenomena at different wavelengths led Maxwellian scientists such as John Perry, Frederick Thomas Troughton, and Alexander Trotter to assume they would be analogous to optical light. The Serbian-American engineer Nikola Tesla, who proposed a wireless power or communication earth conduction system similar to radio in 1893, considered Hertzian waves relatively useless for his system since light couldn't transmit further than line of sight. In 1892, the physicist William Crookes wrote on the possibilities of wireless telegraphy based on Hertzian waves. Others such as Sir Oliver Lodge, Jagadish Chandra Bose and Alexander Popov were involved in the development of components and theory involved with the transmission and reception of airborne electromagnetic waves for their own theoretical work. My dears, over several years, starting in 1894, the Italian inventor Guglielmo Marconi built the first engineering complete commercially successful wireless telegraphy system based on airborne Hertzian waves radio transmission. Marconi demonstrated the application of radio in military and marine communications and started a company for the development and propagation of radio communication services and equipment. My dear, the meaning and usage of the word radio has developed in parallel with developments within the field of communications and can be seen to have three distinct phases. Number one, electromagnetic waves and experimentation. Number two, wireless communication and technical environment. And number three, radio broadcasting and commercialization. So my dears, this was our video. Now I want to turn it over to you. Have you liked the video? Then tell me in the comments. My dears, make sure to subscribe this channel so you don't miss out on my future videos because you know future videos will be awesome. Goodbye, stay blessed and bundle of thanks for watching.